here, let us uh, center ourselves for worship. <laughs>
first reading comes from Genesis 15, 1 through 6. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eliza of Damascus. And Abram said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. No one but your own very own issue shall be your heir. He brought him outside and said, Look toward the heaven and count the stars, if you are able to count them. And then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. Take a look at the front of your bullet. What do you see? Stargazer. How many of us have laid out on our front lawn and looked up at the skies like that? Hey, many of us. Um, really what the started stargazing, I guess. Uh, in Abraham's day, they had no telescopes, no way to, to look beyond what they could see with their eyes. And yet, they were able to map the skies better than we can here in Austin, Texas. Why? Well, we can't see the stars, can we? Too many lights. But they could look up at the stars and they could see a limitless expanse. Number of the stars, if you can, says God. Now, with all of our scientific know-how, we pretty much know how many stars are, uh, can be shown to us on a dark night that are visible to us. They've been numbered. But in Abraham's time, that was a limitless expanse of stars, and they could see the Milky Way ribbon across the sky, and they, they beheld a marvelous uh, mystery. What's up there? and What's going on up there? Well, Abraham looks back, and he looks up at this expanse, and it's limitless as far as he's concerned. Look up in the sky, God says. Why? I look up at the sky at night. Think about it. One of my favorite psalms is Psalm 121. The first line in Psalm 21 says, Lift up your eyes to the hills. Lift up your eyes. Look up at the sky. Look up at the limitless expanse of what God has made. Read through that first text. What is Abraham worried about? He's worried about his life. Worried about his age. He's looking back and he has no children. He has no land that he can call his. He has to move about with his flocks. Nothing is permanent. And yet he has in the back of his mind all the wonderful promises of God that at this point in his life seem like they will never be fulfilled. So he questions God. What's it all about? What, what's the deal with this land? And, and what's the deal with all these many descendants? You know, it, it ain't going to happen. I'm too old. I own no land. It ain't going to happen. Lift up your eyes to the hills. Lift up your eyes to the sky. Number the stars. Abraham got stuck in, in his little world where he felt constrained and unable to break out, unable to do anything, unable to go where he wanted and do what he wanted. He was getting old. Thought I had a hard time getting around. There were no unlimited possibilities for Abraham. Just the limits of old age the limits of what he could see out in the front of his tent. I ain't going anywhere, God. It ain't going to happen. Lift up your eyes. Look at the 
the sky, limitless possibilities are there. You will have descendants. You will have land. Look up at the skies. Look up away from the limits of, of what you see around you. And look up at what God has made possible for you. Look up at the sky. I love that picture on the front of our bullet. Abraham now sees the possibilities that are that are abounding because he believes God. In the last line in our text, Abraham believed God and God reckoned it to him as righteousness. What does that mean? The God, that Abraham has turned his back on the limits that he sees around him and looked at the unlimited possibilities of what God has in store for him and for his people. Lift up your eyes, says God. See what I can do. Mind you, because we all live in a world where we want instant gratification for every promise we've heard. When am I going to get it? When, am I, when is it going to pay off? When am I going to get what you have for me, God? When Abraham died, he had one son. When Abraham died, the only plot of earth he owned in his life was where he was buried. Yet, he died with the limitless possibilities of what God can do. Lift up your eyes to the sky. All of us feel constrained, limited by our lives. If only I had a little more money. If only I was a little bit younger. If only I was a little bit more healthy. Only I didn't need glasses so I could see destiny there in the back row. <laughs> if only all these things that limit us and, and then God comes with these marvelous promises. Oh, what ain't going to happen, God? When am I going to get mine? When am I going to get what I deserve? When am I going to get what you're going to give me? When is it going to come true? Lift up your eyes to the sky. Look at that picture. Content Abraham. Looking up at the sky and seeing the unlimited possibilities of God. Right there. The original stargazing. It's all that God had in store. No longer felt limited by his age, his lack of children, and all the other constraints that come with human life. Abraham believed. It was reckoned to him as righteousness. And faith thing is very hard. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Oh, we want to see a payoff. We want to see the goods. Mm -hmm. And it's at those times that God is going to tell you to lift up your eyes. We lift up our eyes and we see the cross and we know that Jesus believed what God had in store. The devil said, I'll give you all of this. You bow down and worship me. The devil said, cast yourself off of the pinnacle of the temple because somebody's going to save you. The devil said, you're a little bit hungry? You have the power to do what you want. Jesus put himself under God's unlimited possibilities. Through that, we get life. Through that, we get forgiveness and new life. Abraham sitting on his back looking at the stars. Jesus on the cross looks at the thief.
feet next to him and sees not the limitations of death and human life and criminality and all of that, but sees the unlimited possibilities of God. And what does he tell him today? You will be with me in paradise. Lift up your eyes to the hill. Lift up your eyes to the sky. See God's unlimited possibilities for each and every one of you. For each and every one who God loves, who God has redeemed through Jesus Christ, who God has brought into his kingdom. Lift up your eyes. Go outside. Number the stars if you can. Know that the unlimited possibilities of God for you are right there. And we believe, right? And it was reckoned to us as righteousness. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.